Lolita, written by Vladimir Nabokov, is an extremely well-written book that explores themes of manipulation, obsession, and carelessness in a pedophilic and overall taboo setting. This book's wordplay is absolutely phenomenal, with neat puns left and right to distract the reader from the awful that Humbert Humbert, our main protagonist, is bringing unto the world. Throughout the novel, we will discover ourselves almost feeling bad for Humbert as he emotionally manipulates and ruins the young girl of the story, Lolita. The true manipulation in this book is to the reader themselves, as Humbert does not come off as a terrible, creepy person, but more as a friend and someone you can trust. Although Lolita explores very sensitive subject matter, it is an absolutely exceptional book with twists and turns that will keep you on your feet. The vulgar bits of the book are mixed with humor and wordplay to keep the book from becoming too dark to enjoy. Even though some parts of the book may seem to drag on and accomplish very little, the final twist of the book will keep you thinking about it for many years to come, as you start to realize that those moments of dead air were all carefully planned by Nabokov. One of my absolute favorite parts of this novel is how it always keeps the reader on its feet. As I had mentioned before, sometimes the book comes to a lull, but almost every time it seems to go slow, you will get punched in the face with surprising moments that question the moral boundaries of every character out of nowhere. For example, while in the Enchanted Hunter's Hotel, Humbert spends quite a while describing his desperate attempts to cuddle with Lolita, as he had not really touched Lolita sexually before. After he stays up all night doing this though, Lolita comes on to him! Or so the lying, manipulative Humbert tells us so, and they make love for the first time. The surprise elements and twists and turns in this book are nothing to scoff at, and can keep even the most agile readers on their toes. This book is the perfect read for anyone heading into a romantic, sexual relationship. It explores themes of obsession and blinded passion, things that a lot of relationships fall victim to. Humbert commits atrocious mistakes in this book, but apparently learns from these mistakes. I feel as readers it is our job to learn from Humbert's mistakes and not fall victim to these crimes of manipulation out of pure passion. All of these reasons and many more is what makes Lolita one of the most important books of our generation, most certainly worth a read. One quote that stood out to me was during chapter 26, where our author Humbert takes a break from his story to talk about his terrible time in prison. Heart. Head. Everything. Lolita, 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 Lolita! Repeat until the page is full. Nabokov, 109. This quote reveals a lot to us about his absolute obsession with Lolita. This quote takes place in the future, after Humbert is already in prison and points to him not even being close to being over Lolita, and how he is still madly obsessed with her. Although we learn at the very end of the book that Humbert is very regretful of his actions towards Lolita and wishes he did not the things he has done, he cannot undo what he has done and his eternal punishment, according to Humbert, is to be in love with Lolita for the rest of his life with extreme and intense remorse overbearing him. In the novel Lolita, there are plenty of themes to explore. As you can imagine, one of the most explored themes in this novel is the obsession themes. Humbert tends to go in extremely great detail about how much he is crazily obsessed with Lolita talking about how he loves each individual part of Lolita, from her hair, to her legs, to her body, etc, etc. It is interesting to understand why Humbert is so incredibly obsessed. Humbert has always been obsessed from a young age. Once he had his mind set on something he would not give up, such as Annabelle, Humbert's childhood love. He is constantly obsessed with Annabelle and cannot let her memory go until he meets Lolita. He then instills all of his feelings towards Annabelle, towards Lolita, instead. My music video of choice was Rick Astley's Never Going To Give You Up. In this video and song, you can clearly see that Rick Astley is desperately pulling at straws. Never Gonna Give You Up, 
never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never going to say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you, Rick Astley. Rick Astley says that he is never going to give you up. That means never. He's clearly obsessed and will never quit. He also mentions that he is never gonna say goodbye. Can this man make his obsession any more obvious? Let's look at another example. Your heart's been aching, but you're too shy to say it, Rick Astley. He makes clear assumptions about this poor person, assuming they are interested when they seem to clearly not be. Regardless, all of this relates perfectly back to Humbert, as they both show about the same level of clear obsession as one another. Humbert needs to learn to let it go, and Rick Astley needs to learn how to say goodbye. I believe that this image of rose petals falling on Angela Hayes, an underage young woman, really relates to the book Lolita and its themes very well. In this scene from the movie American Beauty, our protagonist Lester Burnham is seen fawning over the girl, painting her in this imaginary light of beauty and sexual intrigue. It's clear that Humbert Humbert is painting Lolita in this light as well. A lot like how Humbert's relationship with Lolita progresses, Lester is succumbed to his own desires and performs sexual acts with Angela near the end of the film, leading to regret in both parties. Much like how in Lolita, Humbert and Lolita grow to regret their previous engagements. I think this is a very clear example of these two being very intertwined with each other. Regardless of all this information, I believe that you should go pick up a copy of Lolita and give it a read. It's absolutely enthralling, and even though there are taboo subjects, it's still one of the best books I've ever read. Go give it a read. And thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.